Central Texas athletes competed in more than 30 events throughout the first day of the state track and field meet on Friday. This is just crazy. I was concerned that I wouldn't even jump at district because I didn't know that I was good enough to do that, but somehow I found my way here. After high jumping for only two months, sophomore Mara Herring not only found herself competing at state, but standing on the podium with a gold medal hanging around her neck. But she wasn't the only young Central Texan competing in high jump on the biggest stage. Sophomore Riley Hinnick of Aquila earned silver, but says she will be back. Last year I, I came to say, you know, I wasn't really worried about, you know, what place I got. And then, you know, this year it was kind of more pressure. But I'm glad, you know, that I get more chances to do this. Sutton Finney from Clifton got her second chance this year, and she made it count. Words cannot even describe how proud I am of myself and how much, how thankful I am for my coaches and my community. Alexis Tippett, a junior out of Troy, is truly a comeback kid. Last year, she broke her leg and was unable to jump, but this year, she landed silver and bronze medals around her neck. Going from not doing anything next last year to coming all the way to state means a lot to me. All my coaches helping me come back from that break of the leg. I was really upset about it and everything. And then getting here and jumping, didn't jump my best, but still got still got a medal, so that's really cool. Keegan Colble is also a believer that two is better than one. The Jonesboro senior finished her high school career earning a silver medal in 3A discus and shot put. And after graduation, she will continue to throw for San Angelo.